Hi, this is a short video showing how to create a questionnaire in Moodle. So what I'm going to do first of all is turn editing on and I'm going to go down and uh, I'm going to just pick where I'm going to go and I'm going to go to add an activity and questionnaire. Uh, I'm going to give my uh, questionnaire a name and uh, a summary. Uh, down here, uh, if you want to have it restricted to certain dates, you can do that here. If you want people to respond many times or just once, then the option is here. I normally pick respond once and then I can make sure that students only respond once to that. Okay, I'm going to go down the bottom and go save and display. Then start adding questions. I click the questions tab and you can pick here from the drop down options the type of questions you want. Uh, the most common ones we use here are radio buttons. Uh, the radio buttons question will only allow you to put in one art, will only allow you to answer once. So you click radio buttons and get here. So it's a multi-option question, but you can only select one answer. So what year are you? Uh, you need to pick whether you whether you have to answer the question and when it's an option, whether they're listed vertically or horizontally. And then, so here, what year group are you? And then you type your possible answers, just doing one per line, year seven, year eight, nine, year 11, and do save changes. Okay, uh, if you pick check boxes, it's a similar type of thing, but you can answer more than once. So, uh, what are your favorite subjects? Uh, and you can say how many the minimum numbers uh, of options they can give are, and you can also say the maximum number. So you might say that you can, uh, you have to give one, but it could be up to four. So, what are your top four subjects? ICT, maths, DH, science, DT, PE. Okay, and save changes. If I just go to preview here. I can see the difference between those two questions. Uh, this one, you can only pick one, and this one, obviously, you can tick many. Uh, other types of questions uh, include a text box, which is just one where you can uh, free type an answer. Uh, how can we improve? We Moodle. The last type of question is a, a rating scale one to five question. So I'm going to click here and do that. Now that gives you the option to rate items from one to um, one to five, and it might be um, a group uh, of uh, related items. So maybe here we put rate subjects. Okay. So how important are the following subjects to you? One is the most important, five is the least. And then you type in here the subjects, ICT, Maths, AEH, Science, PE, DT, Tutorial, and click Save. So now if I preview these, I can see here is my radio button question, here's my checkbox question, here's my free text question and here's my rating one so you can see that they've grouped it like this. Uh, if you want uh, to change the size of the writing for the free text you can go here and um, you can say how how long the text box is. If you want an even longer question, uh, if you want an even longer uh, box than that then you can also put in an essay box. Uh, if you do an essay box and specify the width and the number of rows then that will give you a much larger space that you that uh, you can work in I hope this helps uh, if you've got any questions please speak to me